All right, no level restriction, level three dungeon. Let's uh, let's provision. Hope this doesn't uh, hope this doesn't backfire horribly. He says, chuckling nervously. And then, if we're going to the Warrens, we only have a 15% chance of scouting, which is a little low. Um, we're just in the Warrens. What was paying the most dividends? Hmm. Eh, I'll just leave a slot open so that we're not immediately stuck. Anyway, this is a terrible Shambler fighting team. Anytime Buffalo gets put in the back, he's completely incapable of fighting. Um, as much as I want to bring him, I am going to swap him for Grumble because Grumble has Holy Lance. So something to do from the back line. Uh, but now, those trinkets look pretty good. Um, well, do we need to go? Hmm. I don't think we need to go Crusader here. We don't need the stress heal. Hmm. Man at Arms is pretty good. Let's uh let's do that and let's uh let's make sure that our party is is upgraded as well. Um I'm gonna actually use that. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. And then defend. Hmm, Impale I'm less excited about. Expose, is that one? Yeah, that's one that I generally use. All right, that's pretty good. I do like Serpent Sway, but not in this context. Okay, that's all good. And then... Gotta spend, spunny, spend money to make money. Spend spunny? <laughs> Let's see, we'll give him that, and then he also benefits greatly from the Knuckle Bone. Okay. All right. Let's let's get back in there. Um, all right. Now we'll be taking medicinal herbs because we have a different party comp. Already got that. This party comp, I'll fight a Shambler if the opportunity arises. Trinkets, 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 trinkets. All right. Let's hope this is a smooth dungeon. We've had very bad luck with getting, uh, getting short ones. Um, getting, or excuse me, getting long dungeon, long low level dungeons. Make sure everybody's in reasonable shape for this. First shambler of the campaign. All right, here we go. Can't be stunned. Okay, did not know that. Um. Wait, immune? What's going on here? Such a terrible I'm very, I'm very confused about why I can't do damage.
this is this is very worrisome um maybe we have to get the light up I'm super confused. Decimated. Okay, didn't seem to do any damage there. Oh, okay, so we have to kill... Uh, we have to kill the, the spawns. That's the way that we... That's the way that we do damage, and it looks like we have to kill a lot of them. Um, okay. Okay, nobody's nobody's that stressed, so let's keep the. Let's keep rolling. This is gonna take a while. Um, So it'd be a lot more annoying if we weren't in a dungeon that was uh, lower than normal. Okay. I'd like to switch our jester and our uh, and our vestal, um, but. The the buff is is rolling pretty good, so just to be safe, I just want to get her topped off first. It seems like he always does this. That's still super annoying. Um, eighteen. Damn. Okay. We'll have plenty of time to burn this off after, so I'm gonna focus on putting in the damage on the shambler. Um. Keep everybody topped off. Ah, that's another thing. Her her group heal is a stress heal, so I should probably... Yeah, not killing these shambling spores consistently would make this fight really quite awful. Um, all right, I think we're at the halfway point. Um, gonna keep rolling that. Uh, and we can chip away a bit at the stress with with that. Yeah, it was a, it was a good choice making our front line capable of uh, degenerative destiny. Okay, empty void tier, tear I believe, tear tier. Okay, super pretty uncool, I feel like. Okay. Got it. Um. Okay, the void tier has too much. Does that mean that now I can do damage to the shambler? Oh yeah, it's in phase two, okay. So I think it's gonna steal one of one of my folks every time. Um, holy stress attack, Batman! Um, okay, we're uh, we're we're doing work here, but okay, they're stealing her. I think we do a bit of a rush down here. Um, I don't know how much stress she had. Is this guy blight resistant? A bit, yeah. So let's just go full damage. Um, 
actually. Get her back out, I guess. Um, okay. It's taking less and less damage, I feel like. Um, I really don't want to have to... Uh, oh. 9 to 12 is not going to get us there. Um, so much stress. We got to get him out of there or he's going to keel over. Um, yeah. We're going to have so much stress. The Shambler is freaking tough. Um... Okay, she has the capacity to take a bit of stress, so let's, uh, this guy is taking less and less damage each time. Um, the bleed will kill it? Whew. Okay, that was bad. Uh, we want the blueprint. What is Shambler's Eye? Wow. That is really good. Um, are we going to do a camp right off the bat? I feel like that would be beneficial. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, let's just, let's just backtrack and we're going to do a camp and see if we can get things a little more in order. Um, the Shambler's Eye Trinket is really good. Uh, that Shambler fight was terrifying, though, um, for the record. Uh, oh, can you not camp in the starting room? Can't camp in the first room. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's hope that we don't run into any fights before we get to a place where we can... Uh, I honestly, I'm going to do this just to take him a notch down. Uh, but yeah, that was... Yeah, that was a fight. Okay, now we can camp. Okay, let's see. It's all companions. So that's not what we're looking for. Um, all companions reduce stress by 15, one companion. So we need to, we mostly need to work on the jester. Okay, so we're, let's not get ambushed. Let's do, I think, turn back the clock on you. That's good enough. Um, we can do the rest with the jester. Um, horrific is annoying. Um, let's let's just start doing what I said we were gonna do. I don't like that we're not getting we're not getting kills. Uh, I was hoping we would outclass this dungeon by a bit more. Um. Ooh, that was a nice stress heal too. Um, Masterfully executed. Yeah, I think this. I think this party is gonna start rolling now. Oh, I forgot. Um, It's a shame that doesn't remove horror. If there was ever an ability that was that was to remove horror. Little horror never killed anybody. Okay. 
Save that for later. All right, we're back under control. Um, did cost us some food. Shambler fight was tough. Um, I think that was my first pitch black dungeon shambler fight. So only 150 weeks in, right? What are you going to do? <laughs> Let's get everybody back to normal. Okay, charming is particularly scary. We are crit machines. Um, they're both 70% stun resist. Um, I think the blight is more annoying, honestly. And a little bit of torchlight. Never hurt anybody. Slice him off. Hmm. He's resistant. That probably wasn't the way to go there. Let's just let's get the party doing extra damage. Yeah, close off on that one. Big stun from the man at arms, and now we will we should shred this dude. Ah, it might have been worth doing the going the other direction with that one. Good hit. The Shambler, 15 accuracy, 3 crit is a pretty nice, uh, in fact, I don't think it's, I don't think it's worth using at this moment, but I could see a, I could see a world in which, ooh, we're going to get a collector fight maybe too, assuming we can scout out the, uh, scout out the goodies, um, ooh. Good. Crit landing on the right one was pretty sweet. We can generally afford to take a hit. Um, our hit points are perhaps our largest uh, our largest advantage here. Ten. Okay. Oh, that was a. Disappointing lack of blight. There we go. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. Do I want to keep the glowing shard? Probably not. Um Yeah, we'll use one of those. Yeah, we got two of the thousands. This is seven fifty, but we're more likely to encounter onyxes along the way. So, I think we, we leave that one by the wayside. Maybe on the way back, we'll toss a caustic solution that way. We don't need that many caustic solutions, right? Okay, shape shifting. Okay, an advantageous shift. Um, It's not the kill. Oh, it is the kill. Okay, very nice. Um, Slowly, gently. Shapeshifter should be our next target. Don't want him turning into something obnoxious now, do we? Like that. Hey. Freaking mind reader. He was like, why don't I turn into something obnoxious? Okay, he's dead. Are you dead? No, you're not quite dead. Let's dead you. Let's 
Sitting on a whopping one stress there. All right, you're bleeding out, no problemo. Jester, stakes were made is has uh, has something to prove here is what we're learning. He's coming out swinging. Six. Let's not have him act. Okay, if we come up with a draw to beasts, we know where to where to go. The most inconvenient location of all. Ah, uh, actually, it's in Lurbs. I didn't have I don't have a lot of plans for those medicinal herbs, so using them early on loot options is good stuff. Um I don't I'm worried we're we're gonna be a little short on scouts. Um I don't have any ability to buff our scouting chance, I don't think. No. We actually our our camping abilities are pretty crummy. Um all things considered. But I expect the rest of this dungeon post Shambler is going to be pretty, uh, pretty face roll. I don't think we're going to be encountering too much scariness. No, thank you very much. Shambler's eyes, pretty cool trinket. Um, we still don't have the uh, the musket ball, which I would like. Um, huh. Love the the little the tiny orb now that we have uh, now that we have defeated the shambler. Yeah, phase two got really out of hand really quickly. Um, yeah, I'm not. We may we may just not find uh get a little bit of loot out of this, why not? Unknown blood. Oh yeah, and I guess we are we are unfortunately in a situation where we do not have a luminous concoction anymore. Oh, we did get a scout. Not the kind of scout that's going to give us secret room access, but a scout nonetheless. A hulking swinatar. Oh, of the royal variety. That's kind of doubly nasty. Um, okay. So... I don't know if... Oh, yeah. We'll clear all corpses. There we go. That means no pig spears for you. So we'll be getting crunching backhanded. -ed. Um, just keep... Keep bleeding him up. I don't think we're, uh... I don't think we're in too much danger, nor do we need to, uh, need to battle ballad this guy. Um, probably is worth stunning him. Our, uh, our men at arms is taking taking some hits. So twenty five. He's taking twenty four. Um, yeah, let's just push him over and hope our vessel goes first. Didn't quite get fold up. Wow. All right. Um, well, I said I didn't have a plan for those. This, uh, this dungeon is really uh, most generous. Um, might as well. Uh, geez. I don't think we can take the holy... The key is not that useful to us. The holy water could purge a quirk for us. 
Do we have... Yeah. Oh. That's a, that's a bad quirk, and it's all by itself. Okay, let's hope we find, uh, hope we find a way to burn it off. I got rid of the key because if we... Oh. <laughs> Sometimes, game, you're just too kind. There we go. Slow draw, no more. I wonder if I had... Neither of these are particularly terrible. So yeah, it was definitely slow draw. I didn't pay enough attention to it, though, I will say. I was not... Uh... Was not paying full attention. Um, yank you forward. Oh, Tune of Regeneration. Aw, oh, well that, that really spoils my, spoils my fun. <laughs> oh, not getting a kill there is like... Hmm. I mean, killing blow is a little strong, but might have wanted to to finish off the man with the drum face. Um, but I think this will work. Oh, more more resists. Uh, no, no blight. Um, yeah, that wouldn't have killed the frontliner, so. She can top herself off. Let me hit this guy with a big stun. An almost fatal stun, for that matter. Might as well just finish it. We're at zero stress. Rot low and driven into the mud. I always want to say driven into the deep, not the mud. Let's avoid getting a disease that complicates our life. Um... I'm gonna do this. Move the Vestal back one. That means next round we'll we'll get a we'll get things a little more in line. He could have taken out either of them, so. I wonder if I should be doing this in the dark. Maybe I should snuff out the torch and see how uh see how we do. Well, if that 550 stack was any indication, maybe uh maybe I should be considering dark runs when uh when posed with the opportunity. Um, we'll see what we do with that on the way back. So we have a lot of we have a lot of capability and capacity for uh, for stress deal withery. That's pretty good. It's highly likely I was gonna say this guy's gonna get an opportunity to go. Probably should have gone for the stun there. Um, cure's good. Highly likely she'll get it again. Okay. Fine game. I see how it's going to be. One off. Um, I'm going to finish it. I don't... As much as I... It's really annoying. It's 
impressively annoying, actually. Um, is she really going to hit that store? Yes, she is. <sighs> um, there's really no way around it, either. Uh, her stress is going to go up, so might as well uh, preemptively take care of things. Oh, this guy's a dead eye. I should have noticed that. Yep. I'm surprised the her landing on death's door was not that uh it's not that bad. Um it's going to punch some corpses here for a hot minute. Um While I try to get her to a happier place. Jeez. Louise. Do that, do that. A place for everything, derisions of the dead. Emery, the bounty collector, and the exotic-looking fellow with an exceptional mustache were busy foraging for something edible that wasn't part human. I wandered over near a half-broken table that appeared to be used for target practice. Assorted cutlery, rusted and chipped, jetted out of the splintered wood. As I stood examining the astounding variety of blades, I felt the need to do something. A worn, imbalanced knife, looted from my from a bandit no longer in need of defense, felt all too out of place amongst my wrought steel dirk. Gripping it tightly, I thrust the knife in the table with a resounding thud. I made my way back to the group, feeling half a pound lighter physically and mentally. All right. Not going to tinker around with that too much. The crits of darkness are uh, are nothing to nothing to sneeze at. Um, oh my! Oh my! The surprises have been uh, a lot. gonna do that just to momentarily uh, get things going. I don't want the Vestal getting in too much trouble. Super annoying. Okay. Oh, should not have put her up front there. Um, that was definitely a mistake. That's a big hit. Might as well, uh, hoping the Vestal gets to go. Is he dying yet? No, he's not. Um, this is invariably a kill. Uh, I think we just do it, though. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Wow, I think I do that. Um, I'm gonna, gonna bump up the the light for just a minute. <laughs> I 
I'm unsure, like, I'm amazed by, I guess I'm not using the Surgeon's Charm on the Vestal. I thought that we would have enough, and so as our hit points are waning, I'm finding it difficult to keep up. Um, need to be a bit more careful, I reckon. Paid for in blood. I don't really want to use... I could use a camp for HP right now. Um, I can probably recover though here. Unfortunate that we don't have an Ancestor's Luminous Concoction yet. Wow. Wait, these don't stack? <laughs> this is quite something. Um, I want to be able to purge a Quirk if we come across one. We still have a two out of three chance there. Um, so I think for the moment I slow play the the gold. Um, a little a little healing is probably good. I'm gonna I'm gonna take our second camp. We may not get our last one, our last camp, but I want to do some wound care. Um, prevent nighttime ambush. Okay. I feel better about that. Um, I think better safe than sorry. Oh. Yay. This purge is a quirk too, so let's let's do that. And it's a bummer to lose the holy water, but Nice. That was the worst of them. Okay, so caustic solution on those is the way you get drawn to the beast. I need to remember that. We only need one more, two more quirk purges to be completely without quirks. Uh, ne negative quirks, that is. Um, we'll go up first, I guess. Good dodge. Good dodge. Yeah, I, I don't think I realized how much... Uh... No, we don't do that. How much the Surgeon's Charm benefits slash is critical to my, uh, my strategy. Um... I definitely still need some uh, everybody needs a little bit of topping up oh wow this is really nice though we get another purge let's put some damage up Okay. Don't like him getting marked, but he does have more hit points than anyone else, so. It's a good first hit. Um, good dodge. Okay, he's sorted. Okay. 
Getting some stuns out there seems like the right way to go. Oh, that was spicy. That's annoying. really want the Vestal to go here to undo some of that obnoxious critting. Okay. Okay, that's pretty good. You need... So we're hoping for Mercurial here. Mercurial. Yep. Nice. It's impressive even on a medium dungeon, the fact that you still run into a decent amount of uh, danger, resistance, whatever. Um, but also this hall is a little ridiculous right now. Um, okay. Oh, come on. The surprises, and they're always like the, like the and the bad kind. Um, just gonna do that, make things easier. Nice. Really hoping hoping to take care of him. I think we may be able to, and maybe the jester. I'm gonna do that. Because worst case scenario, we need to clear a corpse after we get pig speared. Um, I'm still going to go for it. Okay, we get the pig spear. I do feel like we're getting crit a lot. Um... <laughs> And clear the corpses, and now we don't have to worry about the pig spear, so. Good news is this guy has a lot of hit points. We can wail on him a bit while also doing some group heals. Which will deal with some stress and also top us back off. Valiant effort. Good sir. Seven, nine, two. this point we might as well uh, be removing stress via all means we have at our disposal that's fine zero stress That's a big hit. Almost a kill. Um, that's a, that's a little greedy. Um, but works out. That is spicy. Swine Reaver. A jester's tale, two of two. I would bring home the roast to use in my locally famous soup, though I do have to give most of the credit to Agnes for her spices and Ralph for his prime cut. Agnes loved the soup so much that she was more than eager to slip beneath the bed sheets each night. Agnes loved the soup so much that she was more than eager to slip beneath the bed sheets each night. I didn't read that correctly. <laughs> I find it peculiar that men will go to such lengths to win the physical affection of their beloves. I'm sure many would admit that it's something we strive to do naturally should we care enough for the woman. It's a very odd passage. Um, oh, we got a scout?
I was very hopeful uh, that that might be a scout for the secret with the secret room in it. That would have been quite amazing. Okay, shapeshifter in the way back is, yep, is worth dealing with. Beautiful guard break. Um, I think the Vestal, ah, the Vestal finishing it off is such a, like, hit or miss thing. All I would have done is swap who was stunning who. That worked out just fine as it was. Now we clear the corpses, which puts this guy into... Stabbing range. A little stress heal. And sure up the man at arms is missing, looks like 6 HP since he's not quite there yet. Crit is so huge. Um, you don't blight, really. Hey, stakes are made. How is it going? You are in this party. You are currently adventuring, my good sir. How is it going? How is your Friday? You, uh, you actually were part of the contingent that killed the first shambler of the campaign earlier in this particular dungeon. Uh, so... You're having a you're having a good day, to say the least. Boom. GG. Giant corpse epicurean. It's going very well. Oh, you're in the Bay Area? Nice. That's awesome. Alright, let's get let's get a luminous concoction here. What, uh, you said you had family in the bay, right? Is that what brings you here? Oh. Unfortunate? What does that one do? Less healing while camping. I am probably not going to lose too much sleep over that. Oh, he's horrific. That's obnoxious. Yeah, I would consider 20% healing while camping to be amongst the most innocuous of uh, of of downsides. Um, all right, let's put some damage in the back line. Oh, that was nice. Stake taking balls and chains like a pro. Just clear the corpse. Clear the corpses. Oh, wow. This guy is doing a number on us. And now he is roasted, toasted, and burnt to a crisp. All right, let's get some, some stress healing that will also chip away at a little bit of the stress we've decided to acquire. Three, two, six. Knock her stress off. He was bleeding for four. Okay, so he's not quite dead. So that is a mark, and that is a damage buff to everyone, which is very interesting. That's probably worth using in some cases. Like, I have a feeling Rapid is going to hit this guy for a boatload. Uh, 17. Would not refer to that as the boatload I was imagining. Boom. 
but yeah, we're uh, we're rolling a level three dungeon with level six and five heroes. Uh, the idea we had, we got the helping hands event, and so I brought a uh, I brought a shambler lure. I don't, I don't know what you actually call those. Um, let's see, ninety ninety. Let's do this. Uh, brought a shambler lure, and that was the first fight of the dungeon. We like walked out and. Uh, it was surprisingly difficult, given the uh, given the the fact that we are so over leveled for this dungeon. Honestly, this dungeon has been a little tough in general. Um, but we're we're definitely putting in some putting in some work. Um, We'll stack the crit. I we're not gonna get the kill on the swine marcher, so they really got a thing for for Ponta. Let's see. I think the blight is more annoying, honestly. <laughs> Expected that to crit just to uh to make it abundantly clear that I was incorrect in my assessment. Okay, no more corpse eater. Stun this duder. No, she needs the self heal, so we can use judgment for that. Big, big hit, and and the GG. You got it. Oh. I think this one will immediately shapeshift. Yeah. Yeah, that buys us a little bit of time. Um, I think, is that the kill on you? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. So now I just need to stun this dude. That was a big stun, too. Um, and then stun the frontliner. Perfect first round. This guy will probably act first. We would not be so lucky. Ooh, and that is obnoxious. Oh, so that's the kill. Okay, actually, yeah. That's a perfect fight. Nice. Really want to find the... Uh, the collector. Oh, I believe this is our last negative quirk on this party as well. Wow. All right, we have four four champions, zero negative quirks. Is such a thing even possible? The answer is yes. Yes, it is. Probably. Hmm. I'm gonna puncture her forward because this one's bleeding already. And I I don't think I don't think I'll get I don't think I'll secure the kill with that, so we'll take a hit. Yeah, we were three off. But I think that was the closest opportunity that we had to being able to neutralize both of them. Corrupting, I should have paid more attention to. Would I have changed what I did? 
If I had known that this guy was potentially going to give us a debuff. No. Okay, now we just go full bore on, on you. Yeah, front guy gets blown up. Wait, is is corrupting? No, no, that's just for using Adder's Kiss. Never mind. Um, top everybody up. Take that last bit of stress off. Might as well finish it. Okay, we can get ourselves another torch. We are... We are finding ourselves running a little low on torches for how much dungeon we have left to explore. Um, which is okay. Uh, although the last time we let it go dark, the things did get a little, a little spicy. Um, and I am keeping an eye on our food supply. Uh, but yeah, I think, I think we should be okay. I'd really like to save our last camp for after we've completed the dungeon. Um, but I'm not sure that that is a realistic... Uh, ooh. So nasty. Also, this, this trinket is awesome looking. Oops. The high value stuff that we found in this, like the jute tapestries are worth 5,000 each. Uh, each one of these vibrant shards is worth, a th ooh, excuse me, a thousand. So are these blue sapphires. Like this, this run for being not taking up a lot of space in our inventory is kind of insane. Um, I'm also curious because the fact that we got the shambler's eye from killing the shambler, I was expecting to get a it's one of the community trinkets. And then that didn't happen. Actually, the Berserker's Brew, we, should, we definitely want to replace, and the journal page. So we actually, we have a lot of inventory room for where we are at the moment. Don't like that. Like the stress is not great, but we can we can survive it. Um, a scout with our fifteen percent chance of scouting. We've only had wow another shambler altar. I would do another shambler fight, but we'd have to get lucky. Um, okay. Get this guy ticking early. Um, okay, that crit is great. Now we just have to... We can knock this guy back to postpone the pig spear one turn. And given that, I don't want to put... Uh, I, I didn't want to stun him this turn because he's going to crunching backhand this turn. Which is fine. That's like... That's what we like him to do. Uh, oh, that's annoying though. Um, that crit though means no corpses. That means pig spear potential is gonzo, which is good. Should, should let the keep the darkness in place. Um, this 
Let's put some damage in. Um, I think it's fine. I should probably, I should probably toss that mark out. Not that we're going to need it, but... Okay, big heal for the man-at-arms to finish off. Well, I guess not. Oh, okay. Nice. That, that worked out quite nicely. I don't think there's any way we get to fight a second Shambler, but it would be the coolest. <laughs> that would uh, that would be super cool. Um, good dodge, Pont. Oh. Not seeing a secret room there is uh, a very bad sign. Oh, and a hunger check there is like spicy. Yeah, and not having many hallway fights here is like similarly bad news. I'm just eyeing our food supply. Um, we're not in great shape on that regard. Not sure why I'm hanging on to the torches. Let's do it in the dark. That's huge. Um, now we just slice him off and then stun him, and I think that should be it dead. Yep, it's dead. Now I'll just stun that guy and yeah. Clean fight. Should hit. Should hit rapid with a, with a stress heal. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that munch is a little annoying. Yep. Actually, very annoying. Once it became a crit, that is. Get a little bit of stress healing on everybody. Stakes is gonna sing himself a tune and somehow magically that is going to uh, help out. Doing a little bit of, uh, a little bit of dancing here to get a little bit more Stress reduction. One, one, five. Okay. So we have two stress on the party. No scout. Okay. We no longer need the shovel. Well, we no longer need anything. <laughs> Okay, so technically, we could still get a scout on this last room, but it's very unlikely that uh, that it will get us where we want to go. Um, good dodge. Okay, that not being a crit means I am going to go for the stun here to avoid the pig spear. 
Nice. Okay, we clear the corpses, removing the potential for pig spearery. Nice hit. Okay. Gonna get a little crunching backhand, probably. Yep. These uh these swinatars love slapping our man at arms, that's for certain. No need to let him do that, though. Keep the darkness. It increases our crit chance, and it's not hitting back, so. Slice off. Seems like the clear favorite here. All right. GG. Don't need shovels anymore, so anything is better than shovels. Continue adventuring. We want to at least see if we... No scout, no potential for more scouts. So this is it. Um, we can try and get rid of Bulimic here, though. And there's no reason not to. So it's going to be wound care all the way around. Oh... We only had the one wound care. Unfortunate. Wish you could wound care yourself. Um, yeah, all right. Let's see what the haul was. I think it's going to be a pretty good one. Could have been a lot better, but... That's an exceptional haul. The degeneracy of the hamlet is nothing, I fear, when compared to the condition of surrounding acres. No event this week. All right. Okie dokie. Let's uh let's get our trinkets unequipped. Chandler eyes looking pretty good. Uh it's pretty unremarkable disease, but I don't think there's any point in, in tempting fate by leaving diseases floating around. Yes, we made it out. You uh you made it out. You are in good you're in good form. Uh I don't remember if you were already level six or if you just hit level six, but uh yeah. You survived and the big uh the big trinket reward from the uh from the expedition was the Shambler's Eye, which is an ancestral trinket with fifteen accuracy and three crit and plus fifteen percent stress damage. It looks pretty darn awesome to be perfectly honest um that is a very 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 good trinket uh the shambler fight was really hard so <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna need to do that a few more times uh i was actually expecting the shambler to drop more of these uh community trink uh community trinkets um because i haven't seen uh many of them but uh but yeah, I'm, I'm actually not sure where you get them, if not from the Shambler. So, mysteries of the universe, I guess. Um, but let's see. Let's let's take a quick look, see what we're probably going to do next. Um, let's sort by levels and see. We have, we have this party that I've been trying to level up. Um, I probably should have put Manda... Mandeville in for uh for getting some stress healing. Um but I like this party. It's been it's been working well for us. Uh so we could 
Would it do well in the cove, though? I'm going to say not great in the cove. Um, doesn't have great answers for the bleeds that we might start to see. Um, how about the ruins? Similarly, I don't think it's great. They're, they're great ruins, folk. Um, I'm also, I'm also eyeing, uh, we still have to kill the hag, which I have no interest in, um, and the gibbering, gibbering prophet, gibbering, not gibbering, um, someone is, uh, someone is vacuuming the hallway outside of my, uh, outside of my apartment. I don't know if that's that's getting picked up. Um, this is another pretty solid trinket. Um, what would what would a profit team for us look like? Balliol, Blangy, Massange. And Baynard? That would be that would be our profit team. How do we clear corpses with this team? Do we clear corpses with this team? See the problem is we could clear corpses sometimes with breakthrough, but it's not going to be great. Um, I don't know. This I think this team would have a hard time getting to the profit and then be potentially good at killing the profit. Uh, let's let's take a look at their skill upgrades. I don't know that I've had an Arbalist with its level 4 skills. How does, does this change much? No. Well, Prot from that. More speed. Higher base stun. Mark the target. If only they gave you, hmm, what about Cry Havoc? Just removes horror. What is, I should, I should at least upgrade his target whistle. Um, I'm, I'm acting like I'm about to do something very rash. <laughs> Hmm. I want to I want to kill a boss here. That's how I'm feeling. And maybe this party has what it takes to do it. To kill the gibbering prophet. What would our trinkets look like? Do we go insane dodge and and play defensively with you? That might be that might be the play. Um I don't think we can afford the minus healing. Can't use any of these, which is unfortunate. Um
So do we go full defensive on you? Get your def your dodge up to 72% and try and try and make that work and then we gave you ancestor's pen. And Shambler's Eye, that's just a lot of stress damage for a party that doesn't have great uh, great answers for that. Um, Reaper's Hourglass, definitely not. That would be a mistake. Um, actually, instead of the Overture box, let's give you the Fool. Gets... Tanks your dodge a little bit. Actually, the 50% max HP is pretty pretty large. Um, definitely a Surgeon's Charm. And definitely a Stun Amulet. We still need a second one for you. The Torch will be up, which means that Speed, Crit... Uh, taking more damage is a little scary, though. Our scouting is going to be bad as well. Um, he's a size 1 enemy, so we're not going to get much out of that. Um... What do we what do we give you, Arbalist? Maybe we do give you the Wrathful Bandana. You do less healing, but we just need you for spot healing anyways. And the eye looks pretty good. And then what what do we finish things? I think the sun is is pretty good here. Okay, a profit run. 